choosing members of 340 local government institutions. Observers say voter turnout was higher than expected, some districts reporting 85 percent. Voters had a clear idea of what they wanted from their local representatives. Corruption is a big problem, so somebody who is less corrupt, somebody who is educated and of course somebody with a vision who can do something for the community. Another voter said changes to the electoral system has made things easier. Compared to previous system, this is a much more simple system for, for the voter. It's a new mixed result system. Which candidate wins the most votes and which party has the most support? The changes also included a quota of 25% for women. This election marks a number of firsts. The first time so many women have contested, the first time votes are being counted in polling centres like the one behind me and the first time election violence has been so low. Observers say there is a marked change in the conduct of campaigns and the election. The main election organiser credits hard work. Main thing is we have educated the people not to break the law. Through the law, enforcement of the law, we can't have conduct a free and fair elections. Despite being a local election, which is usually about issues in local neighbourhoods, the campaign took on the flavour of a national election. President Maitripala Sirisena, Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe and the man they united to defeat behind the Rajapaksa were heavily involved in the campaign, travelling around the country to support their respective candidates. The stakes for each of them are high and the results of this grassroots race will point towards the political mood in the run-up to the general election in two years. Minel Fernandez, Al Jazeera, Colombo.